we have seen problems in which we have arranged people in a row. But this time, we have to arrange them in a circular fashion. Six people will be seated like this. In how many ways can we arrange six people around the circle? If we had to arrange them in a row, we know that it can be done in six factorial ways. Will it be the same if they have to be seated in a circular fashion? Most of us know the answer here. It will not be the same. It's 6 minus 1 factorial. These many ways in which we can arrange 6 people in a circular fashion. But why? Why do we subtract a 1? And this is exactly what most don't know. And most of us won't even try to understand it. Because it's a simple formula. N people around a circular table can be arranged in n minus 1 factorial ways. Let's understand why. First, we need to know the number of ways in which we can arrange 6 people in a row. We know it's 6 factorial, but do you remember how we arrived at it? We had made 6 slots for the 6 people. And the first question we asked ourselves was, in how many different ways can the first person be seated? He can be seated in any one of these six slots and each slot is different from the other. It means the first person can be seated in six ways. So let's say the first person is seated. In how many ways can the second person be seated now? As one slot is gone, just five remain. The second person can be seated in five different ways. On any one of the five remaining slots. This goes on. And we get the answer as 6 factorial. That's how we had 6 factorial. Now that we know this, let's move on to the circular arrangement case. In how many ways can we arrange 6 people in a circular fashion? Let's draw a circle. Assume it's a circular table with chairs around it. 6 people can be seated like this. Now let's follow the same approach to get to the answer. In how many different ways can the first person be seated here? It's simple, don't worry. As there are six chairs around the table, the first person can be seated in six different ways. Correct? No, it's not correct. The first person that comes to the table cannot be seated in six different ways. To understand the number of ways in which the first person can be seated, let's look at a circular table with six chairs around it. Now assume you're the first person and let's say you sit on this chair. What do you see? Try to describe the positions of the chair you see. You see three chairs in front, one on your left and one on your right. Now assume you have decided to sit here on this chair. What do you see? You see three chairs in front, one on your left and one on your right. It's the same view. It means you sitting on this chair is not any different from you sitting on the previous chair. Say you had decided to sit on the third chair. The view is still the same. Three in front, one on your left and one on your right. Come on, what does this tell us? It tells us that there is just one way in which the first person can be seated on any of the six chairs. Let's go back to the whiteboard now. So we saw that the first person can be seated in just one way. Now we get to the interesting question. Assuming that the first person is seated on one of the chairs, in how many different ways can the second person be seated? Try answering this question. Okay, let's see. Assume that the first person is seated here. Five chairs are left for the second person. If the second person sits here, think of his view. He has three chairs in front, one on the right and one on the left. But wait, that's not enough. The chair on the left has the first person seated. So it's three in the front, one on the right and one with the person on the left. Let's say the second guy is seated here. This time we have three chairs in front, one on the left and one with the person on the right. After the first person is seated, this chair is different from this one for the second person. Similarly, the other three are also totally different from the other chairs. The ways become different second time onwards because of this reference point. The second person can be seated in five different ways 
and similarly the third person can be seated in four different ways assuming the first two are already seated and this goes on till everybody is seated the answer will be 1 multiplied by 5 factorial that equals 5 factorial this was the logic behind subtracting 1 from n the first person can be seated in just one way if it is a row then each slot or chair is different from the others for the first person but here each chair or position is the same for the first person so remember n people can be seated in a circular fashion in n minus 1 factorial ways memorizing this is not a good idea understanding the concept is better